If you've worked in Fusion for more than a few minutes, you might realize that timing things in Fusion has always been a little awkward. Like, how does it work? I mean, we have all these nodes here. We don't have layers. We don't really have a timeline. Like, what happens if I want to put a video over another video and I want to line them up in time? Like, I want this smoke to come out of this gun after the gun fires, which is like here at frame 13-ish. And the smoke's already almost gone by that time. So like, what am I, what am I going to do? Well, the answer is in the keyframes panel. So in the upper right hand corner here, if we click on keyframes, here we have a little timeline of what's going on here in our fusion comp. If I click on this button right here, this zoom to fit button, that will kind of zoom it out so that we can see everything. Now this looks suspiciously like a layer stack, but it's not really. This is just a list of the nodes that are in our comp, and it's a great way to adjust the keyframes of things. So if we have something that is animated, like, I don't know, we'll just put this text over here for now, and we keyframe the center of this text, right? So it kind of comes up from the bottom like that. We can see the keyframes for our text here in the keyframes panel. I can grab either of these little white points to move these keyframes back and forth and adjust the speed of this animation, which is nice, but that's not all this panel is good for. I'll close the inspector to give us a little room here and I'll bring up our media in on our second viewer so that we can see both pieces of media here in sync. This keyframes panel actually works sort of like an edit timeline in some ways, okay? So we have our gunshot, which is the background of our comp and it goes from frame zero to frame 34. And we also have the smoke puff, which is coming in starting at frame one as well. We can take this smoke puff and I can just click and drag in the middle and kind of push this over so that it starts later. So we could start this at frame nine, see, and now it starts around frame nine. So we can kind of move this back and forth in time like that, which is really nice. The other thing we can do is we can grab the edge of this just like we would a clip in the timeline. And when our icon turns to this little left bracket, I can grab this and trim this. And so it actually starts on a later frame. So not only can we move clips back and forth, but we can trim them. So we could do a little bit of editing here in the keyframes panel. So what we might wanna do is grab our merge, take the inspector and we'll take this apply mode to screen so that we can kind of see through this. I'll hit two on the keyboard. Let's make this a little brighter too, just so we can see it. It's a little bit hard to see over this white background. So I'll just push this up pretty hard. And now let's go to frame 13 where he's shooting and maybe frame 14. And I can take this smoke puff and move it back and forth out of the playhead to see where I want this to start. So maybe something more like this right there. I want this to be right here when he shoots and I can take this and trim it too. So it just comes on right there. So at frame 14, we're going to start at this frame in the smoke puff. And before that, it's not even there. So it just appears right there which for a gunshot is gonna work just fine. Now I can take this and add a transform node. We'll just flip this and put it here on the other side of our gun. So now, boom, it shoots out that smoke and it's timed perfectly. Obviously this needs a lot more work, but the timing is what we're looking at here, right? And that timing is dope. So yeah, quick little video, but man, this is so helpful. And it took me a long time to learn that you can do this kind of thing. In fact, in earlier versions of Resolve, this didn't actually work very well, but it seems like it's been fixed recently, which I am a big fan of because now we can actually align things in time. Ha, ah, so good. So essential for actually making things. I love it. Hey, if you want to dive deeper in compositing things inside of Fusion, we have a course for that, Pro Compositing in Fusion. It's available now at groundcontrol.film. Hey, thanks for thanks for sitting here and watching the thing that I made. That was nice of you. And I'm hope that you learned a lot. Freaking nailed the outro.